Greetings fellow Earthling. Uh, this is a tutorial to show you how to quickly and easily convert money, crypto money that you've acquired online, specifically Steam and Steam back dollars from steamit.com and other sites that use the Steam blockchain. You know, easily and quickly convert those into your fiat currency of choice, such as pounds, US dollars or euros. And the way I'm going to go about doing this is to first create an account in Uphold.com, which is the one which uh, is going to be c converting your crypto into fiat. So I'm on the site now, Uphold.com. I'm going to click on Sign Up. And type the email in that we're going to use, and a password. And you need at least one uppercase character, at least one lowercase character at least one number or special character and at least eight characters okay so there we go that's done rolling as an individual oh there we go right UK okay. okay next so here you type in your personal information and you choose a username and you choose the county that you live in if you're in England or the state if you're in America and you put your date of birth in here it's all standard stuff Okay, next. So now they're going to send an email through to the account that I just registered, which they have done. So I'm just going to click um, to get started on that in my email application. And now we're taken to a page where we have to confirm an SMS token that they're going to send through to a cell phone. So we have to give them the cell phone number to route this code to. Now, before I had problems with this and I had to install an app basically to do this so let's see if it works this time as you can see it says here download the Authy app to receive the verification code from your computer or mobile device for this number okay so the way that they have set the uh, authentication up for Uphold is essentially that you give them a phone number which they will then send you a confirmation to as a text message and then you have to download an app called Authy, which is going to be used to receive the verification code for your login. And that site is here, so click on download. Okay, so I'm going to download the version for Windows of Authy here, which I haven't tried before. Let's see how that works out. Okay, run the installer. So, Authy account set up. Your Authy account is connected to your phone number. If you change your phone number, make sure you update it with Authy settings. Right, so, we type in the phone number that I used previously when setting up the Uphold account. next and type in the email address and then they will be sending a verification themselves to the phone that was registered Okay, so got the Authy code, typed it in uh, via the SMS message they sent me, and now I'm logged into Authy, and you can see Uphold is in here. And we have some codes. Okay, so what you actually need to do is once you've got Authy running, click on the Uphold logo you can see in inside Authy, and it's going to give you a bunch of numbers with letters with spaces in, in between them. 
you need to type those numbers into the verification input box in the uphold sign up process before the time runs out inside Authy and then uphold is going to verify you and you'll be able to log in so what we're seeing right now is your welcome page in uphold it's just telling you the Bitcoin gold is now available uh, for use and you can see here we are um, this is the initial screen for uphold and you can see you've got a bunch of different wallets here your Bitcoin wallet, Euro wallet, Great British Pounds wallet, United States dollars wallet and GR wallet and then we can add other currencies here so uh, for example I can add Bitcoin cash just give it a name at the top and I can add BAT which is another interesting one basic attention token and whichever other ones I want there's a few other crypto ones so now that that's done that's stage one in the sense that uh, we have an account now we need to become a verified member so in order to do this um, you need to send them some ID and you need to do this in order to take money out to your bank account in the form of fiat currency so become a verified member click start and you need to type in your home address ok next and now we need to upload an ID document so you can choose here driver's license passport or identity card you can use your passport or other ID document basically just so that they can do some kind of checking to make sure you are a human being Ironically, you're just sending them a photo of a piece of plastic. Okay, so now we have to choose an image file for the rear of the license, which I'm now uploading. Okay, it's done. Click confirm. And now an image of your face. It's taken with a camera a few minutes ago. Confirm. system's going to check the images and it looks like they've been accepted so now we just have to wait for them to go away and manually check through I think it's been uploaded and once they've done that we should be ready to go with uh, adding a bank account to the system and making exchanges happen okay so the account has been verified it only actually took about three hours something like that two or three hours and so I'm now logged in no verification notice left so basically now uh, I need to associate the account with a bank account so that I can when I pay cryptocurrency into this account I'll be able to withdraw it to my bank account So I think that's under funding methods, add a bank account. Okay, so you can find your IBAN and BIC codes for your own bank account, usually by logging into your bank interface for their account management system. And you may see them just in the profile or on a statement or something like that, but they'll be in there somewhere. So that's done. Successfully added a bank account, and so I think now if I come into let's say Bitcoin Cash and say um, send to bank account, I can choose, yeah, I can choose that bank account. So now all I basically need to do is transfer any cryptocurrency that Uphold supports into an appropriate wallet in Uphold and then I can directly exchange that in Uphold into pounds, dollars or 
other fiat currencies and then send them straight to my bank account. For those people wondering what accounts are supported here, we've got many, many, many. We've got Argentinian peso, Australian dollar, uh, what else? Canadian dollar, Brazilian real, Danish krona, um, Indian rupee, Israeli, Kenyan, Mexican, New Zealand, Norwegian, Filipino, Polish, Singapore, Swedish, Swiss, American, Japanese, Chinese. So a good selection of currencies there. So here we are over at Block Trades, which is blocktrades.us is the website name. And it's a simple interface. You don't need to create an account to use it. And what you can do is send a currency from any of these currency selections. Ethereum, Litecoin, Steam, Steam Dollars, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, uh, and some other ones there which I'm not so familiar with. Um, and you can then give it an address that you want to send that money to in a different format. So once it basically the site's going to convert it into a different cryptocurrency and send it to wherever you want it to go. So what I'm going to do here is send some Steam Dollars from um, Bitrex, where I've got some right now, and I'm going to get Block Trades to convert that into Ethereum, and then I'm going to get get it to send that Ethereum to the account I've just created in um, Uphold. So I'm going to do that with one Steam Dollar. And so we need to get the receiving address for this Ethereum transfer. So in other words, we come into Uphold, go into uh, Ethereum, need to add Ethereum because it's not on here. Uh, ether, just don't call it Ether. Okay, and then fund with cryptocurrency, and we're funding with Ether. Generate an address for this account, and so here we have basically a wallet within Uphold that's expecting me to send Ethereum to it. So I'm going to copy this address and send it in as a destination address for um, block trades. Click get deposit address and now I will have a memo that I can use in Bitrex to send my Steam dollars to block trades and so they can then use the memo to know that it's me that initiated the trade and what to do with it. So it says here, each deposit will incur a fixed fee to pay the Ether transaction cost, current fee 0.04 Steam back dollars. You should send at least five times this amount, 0.2 SBD, to get a reasonable exchange rate. So now I'm going to go into Bitrex, or oh, you could do this directly in Steam it in your wallet there. So I'm just going to click minus against the SVD wallet in Bitrex. I'm going to tap that memo in for the memo field. I'm going to type in block trades for the registered account and where it's going. I'm going to choose to send one steamed back dollar and they're going to charge me a little fee for doing that. i send a little bit more actually so that, that gets rounded up to one dollar. OK, 1.01 .01 SPD is I'm sending. And now I click Withdraw, Confirm. And I also have to now open up my email account to validate and confirm that I want to make that withdrawal from Bitrex. Which I've now got. Click the little link in there. And it says that the withdrawal confirmation is successful. So Bitrex has now sent one SBD to Block Trades with any luck. And then Block Trades is going to convert it into Ethereum and send it on automatically to my Uphold account. And I can see now in Bitrex that it's marked that $1 in SBDs as being reserved, which means it's on its way. So, we'll come back in a few moments when it's arrived in Uphold. Okay, so 
I'm now looking at block trades and you can see it's marked that trade as complete so it accepts that it's received one SPD and it sent a certain amount of Ethereum out to the target address in Uphold. So if we come back into Uphold, maybe refresh the page, not visible yet, we'll come back in a few minutes. So now as you can see the Ethereum that I sent to the Uphold account has arrived and it's translated here into 5.51 British pounds of balance. So it's listed here in the Ether wallet as well, so if I open that up um, I can, in theory, send it to the bank account that I just added to this account. However, as we'll probably find out here in a moment, the cost involved will mean that this is probably pointless, but let's see. So, you can see here that I've asked the system to withdraw all of the Ethereum that I've paid into this wallet, and it's saying that at the end of all of that, the actual amount that will get credited to the bank account is £2.45, because there is an exchange fee to be uh, removed from the final amount, and there's also a withdrawal fee uh, for sending it to the bank from Uphold. And when all of that's put together, that totals to more or less half of the actual amount that I'm, I'm sending. So for small amounts, it really is not the way forward. However, for larger amounts, the charges tend to be relatively small. So I'm pretty sure I've sent maybe £900 worth in total of crypto to my bank account or more than that and I've not paid more than let's say £15 in total on the whole lot so uh, yeah in short this is the cheapest way that I've found to get money into fiat currency the other exchanges that I used in the past one of them charged me about 100 it was like 10% of the overall amount um, I was charged in fees which is on, a, on quite a large amount, that's ridiculous. So, I'm still really happy to be using Uphold. If you happen to know of a service that's cheaper in some way, or maybe uses more cryptocurrencies, then let me know, and I'll definitely consider using that. Um, but that's it. That's basically the method that I use to send money from Steemit to Pounds. And obviously you can use it for your own currency, and it has a lot of other potential too. So, hope you found that helpful. And let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or any suggestions. Bye for now.